and welcome to my goat shed life. Today's been chore day. I got a few little things done. Um, so I was going to talk a little bit about that and also about um, a camp potty that I use in the goat shed and going to show you that. Anyway, okay, let's get after it. So today I got my dishes washed up. Haven't quite gotten them all put away yet. And there are those plants. Made a video about um, the African violet and the succulent are both doing amazingly well. And the orchid is coming along, but very, very slowly. Another thing I did today was I got rid of the wood pile because we are sure hoping that we don't have to burn this baby anymore this year. We'll wait and see. If we do, the wood will be right outside. But I cleaned all that up and emptied out the ash bucket and got rid of the sticks and twigs, the kindling. And actually, with this little chair in the off season, um, makes a great little side table there that you can set your drink on or whatever. So everything has dual purposes in the goat shed. So the other day, I was talking about how um, I didn't really have a potty in the goat shed. This is the potty that I have. It's a little camp potty. It has two parts to it. And in the top, you can actually put water where you can rinse the bowl out. And then the bottom down there is like a five-gallon jug that um, all that comes apart and the jug's got a lid on it. A lid on it right there and so I try not to let it get all the way filled up because when I do it is very heavy and I have a little uh, cart I can take it out on and so I will take and empty the pee so yeah that potty is uh, for TT only and um, as I said before I have a uh, a real toilet in a FEMA tra in the FEMA trailer that I have, and it actually is connected to a septic tank. And what I do when I get ready to empty it is I actually empty it onto a compost pile, which consists mostly of a big pile of leaves and the ashes from the stove. And you're going, oh God, you put pee in your compost pile. I have a friend who has kidney failure, and two of the things that uh, he has to be really concerned about is potassium and phosphorus intake because apparently your kidneys clean your body of among other things potassium and phosphorus and so he has to be careful about the intake of those which indicates to me that urine contains a good bit of potassium and phosphorus right and the three things that plants need to grow are nitrogen potassium and phosphorus so I'm thinking maybe the urine is actually good for the compost pile. And it's going to sit there a while anyway and have a chance to break down before it ever gets put on anything else. Anyway, and, and actually I believe, unless I'm mistaken, urine is sanitary. Okay, enough pee talk in the goat shed for one day. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. It's pretty nice outside today. Enjoy.